well I'm wearing the same outfit because I'm gonna record a whole bunch of these um, crazy story time installments all at once and so this is going to be my scam video I was scammed by Lux Style International and if you google their company you'll see a whole bunch of articles and information out there about how it's a total scam I didn't know this at the time obviously so one day um, now Facebook has since severed ties with this company they don't they don't have them as a suggested post anymore but at the time they did and so this it was the you know that black charcoal um, mask thing that's really popular um, they have that and so that came up as a suggested post and so I clicked on it you know just to check out the price and see see how much it would be and uh, they so stupid they make you put in your name and address and your email address uh, before they'll show you how much it is and I'm like okay whatever so uh, I did that because I'm stupid and then I saw that it was like $29 for this mask so I'm like whatever so I just x straight out I closed out the whole internet browser well like a week and a half later doesn't this package arrive and I open it up and it's this mask with an invoice saying the $29.95 plus like a $5 invoice fee and like $15 in shipping because they're in Denmark. I sent them an email. I'm just like, well, I didn't order this. And then they sent back this standard, well, you know, once you put in your information that indicates that you want it. And so we were kind enough to offer the option to send an invoice. And I'm like, uh-huh. And so I said, well, you can send me a prepaid return postage thing and I'll send it back to you. Oh, no, 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 we don't do that. If you don't want it, you have to go within however many days and send it back and make sure you choose trackable shipping. Because if you don't, then we won't be able to basically they would say that they didn't receive it and I would still have to pay so I checked and it to send it back it was like $45 and so I just kept sending back emails like I didn't order this you guys need to just back off and it almost got to the point where I was like because then they're like oh we'll send it to collections and I was almost to the point where I was just gonna pay it because I didn't want to worry about any of that and then I was smart enough just just smart enough to Google it and figured out that that's their whole thing. That's just what they do. They get the information from people that they can, send it out, and then demand payment and threaten um, that they'll send it to collections. And then I even read articles that were talking about how they are actually just the collection agency and that it doesn't actually exist. Uh, like it was a local person that actually went there and it's like, like from that movie the boiler room where there wasn't even anything set up so i'm just like okay cool what is it that guy from south park says screw you guys i'm going home so i just sent them a return email um because at this point this was like months later it was actually a an email from the international collections company and so i sent them a reply email with linking the article that talked about how it was fraud and I just said you know I looked up your company and it's funny because it doesn't exist so they were threatening litigation and I'm like okay well good luck on your international litigation proceedings because you're full of it and uh, I probably sent that back as a reply probably about 200 times every now and then I would just keep sending it back 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 and then I also found uh, a mail spam company that you can put in the email address that you wanna test your spam filter levels and they'll send you 60 emails, spam emails per minute um, for as long as you let it run. 
So I took the email that they sent me, the, the threatening, we're gonna begin litigation proceedings. I took that email and um, probably sent them about 4,500 emails. I just kind of let that spam service run for a while and um, also signed them up for like a whole bunch of like porn accounts and religious newsletters. So between the two, they're gonna get offended by one of the two. Scammers, you suck big time. And it's a real shame that that's what you've chosen as your path for earning a living. That's really pathetic. So um, that is my second installment of Crazy Storytime. I hope that you enjoyed my tales of woe, of being stupid, of being stupid on the internet and giving out my information when I shouldn't. You guys have a great day and I will talk to you again soon. Bye.